I'm Luke Simons. I'm Tammy Pescatelli. Welcome back to Fair Game. And uh, let's talk about this. Scotty Lago, Olympic <laughs> snowboarder. <laughs> Oh, listen, I love this medal. kid. I love this kid. He's a kid. First of all, the, whoever put snowboarding in the Olympics, it's their fault. They should throw them out of the Olympic village. The kid's an ex-game guy, you know? So when triple X, you know what he did, right? Now, and yeah, well, simulating oral sex. A girl was or simulating he that took with his, his medal, bronze medal. His Flavor Flav, because to them, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Flavor Flav, Flav medal, okay? Like He's that. a young kid. He put it in an area. The girl, TMZ caught it. The fact that TMZ is covering the Olympics shows us where we are in society now. <laughs> and, you know, he, he did some things that were not, but he's 22. He's partying. He's got a gold medal. He's in the Ben Roethlisberger School of Party. I think people <laughs> forget the fact that these Olympic Games, a lot of them are kids. They're still yeah. 22. I mean, 22 years old. You're going right. to go to a bar and have a good time, especially after you win an Olympic gold medal or bronze medal in his case. Yeah, right? and it was in Canada. Who would have thought anybody would see it, right, Scotty? <laughs> I mean, my God, the world wasn't looking at you. I don't know why you would think anybody would see it. Yeah, kind of crazy <laughs> there. Now let's talk about some pro athletes who are going broke. One of those, oh. I think Lenny Dykstra, well-known baseball guy, owes over $30 million. Amazing. And he's doing like the Tony Robbins speaking engagement Go team investment seminars. I want to know who's paying to get investment <laughs> advice from Lenny. <laughs> if Lenny you're Dykstra. listening, he's broke. It doesn't work <laughs> that way. And I know one of your favorites, Jack Clark. I love he this loved story. his luxury cars. I love this story. Okay, everyone knows he was a great baseball player. He had all these cars. He had 18 luxury cars, 17 car notes at one time. And then when they read the story, they say that he's on his feet now. Really? Of course he is, because he's hitchhiking everywhere. You know, or driving a Pinto. <laughs> Not that Pintos are bad. Maybe he can. <laughs> maybe he's on his way to a Lenny Dykstra seminar. That's probably yeah, where he is. Who knows what's going to happen with him. Tammy, thanks again. Thanks a lot. That's fair game. Hi, welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Luke Simons. And I'm Tammy Pescatelli. Tammy, why don't we first talk about Ben Roethlisberger. You're a Pittsburgh girl. You know a little bit about this. What do you think of his latest run in in the media well i think probably about the same thing terry bradshaw thinks i am completely disappointed but you know that that's what comes with sports chicks come with sports so you want 15 minutes of fame that's the easiest way to make it happen just to hook up that doesn't even mean that he did anything no obviously big ben would say nothing happened um i wasn't convicted of anything i Is did there a not big have game? sex with that yeah. woman <laughs> Is there a big deal? Uh, I mean, when it comes to that. Look, here's the deal. Go play football and go home. That's the best bet. Don't put yourself in the position because people are, there are going to be people that really have legitimate complaints and people who just make stuff up. I have to agree. And Terry Bradshaw said you're going to have plenty of time when you're done with your career to do whatever you want. Yeah, he's got good over. hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terry Bradshaw also said that he and Big Ben are not good looking men. What do you wow. think about that? Terry said that? Terry said that about himself and Big Ben. Well, I think that's awful nice of Terry to admit, but I'm sure Ben isn't happy with <laughs> no. that way. All right, Tammy, let's switch subjects a little. Pro athletes going broke. I think uh, one of the biggest names I was surprised was Scotty Pippen. Scottie, played with Michael Jordan. Yeah, well, that was the problem. He played behind Michael Jordan, but he was behind Michael Jordan in line at the cash register, okay? Spending money at his uh, steakhouse, did I you, guess. Did you see that Scotty lost like $40 million in bad investments? Who was his financial advisor? Bernie Madoff? I don't understand. <laughs> That's exactly right. And I have to wonder, what are their agents doing? other than taking the 10%, which we've talked about before. But yeah. these guys are not giving sound advice when it comes to money, I know what obviously. they're not doing, taking their calls after they lose all their money. That's what their agents are doing. Makes you wonder. One of the guys that was on that list, actually, John Daly. John Daly. Now, of course, he's been in the news quite a bit. He has a Twitter account. And uh, he actually texted a reporter's phone number yeah, out. Yeah, can you believe he, he <laughs> tweeted it, which is hilarious. The fact that John Daly can actually tweet. I mean, he is a Jeff Foxworthy joke. If You might be a redneck if you're John Daly. And the fact <laughs> that he even has fans to look at a Twitter account. Here's the deal. I think that, I think that all is fair. Do you know that John actually... Uh, put the reporter's name on his Twitter account because the reporter got a hold of his PGA record, which is 456 pages of all his transgressions. John opened himself up because he sued the parent company that the reporter 
worked for. It was his own fault. Is basically so, yeah, no one would have known any of this stuff. He didn't even put it in his biography, which, by the way, I don't know how many people are buying and, his biography. And I think the funny thing about that is the fact that he has all these transgressions is the only reason he's still in the PGA anyway. He right. doesn't have a tour card. <laughs> He's getting exemptions to get to play. That's right. He's had a sponsor. You know who is a sponsor? I think John Madden, because John Daly looks like a <laughs> mini-me of John Madden. Sounds good, Tammy. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next week. That's Fair it game. for us. That was good. That works for me. Yeah, I think. Is that all you need?